Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, section 3.4, the distributive property lesson. Pause while you write section 3.4 lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. The lesson objective is use the distributive property and represent it with algebra. Today we'll be starting on page 134 in your textbook. To begin, copy the key idea at the top of page 134 into your notebook. Be sure you copy the words and the numbers and algebra that are in the key idea. Example 1, using mental math, says use the distributive property and mental math to find 8 times 53. So our directions are write 53 as 50 plus 3. This is the important key step of using the distributive property to break up the large number into two or more parts. So when you do that, 8 times 53 looks like 8 outside of the parentheses and 50 plus 3 inside the parentheses. The distributive property has you multiply 8 times 50 and then add 8 times 3. When you multiply that, 8 times 50 is 400, and 8 times 3 is 24, and then you can quickly add that together and get 424. Example 2, we use the distributive property to find 1 half times 2 and 3 fourths. So our first step is to write 2 and 3 fourths as the sum of 2 plus 3 fourths. So that's done for us here. And so our when we write it using the distributive property, we have 1 half times 2 plus 1 half times 3 fourths. So 1 half of 2, of course, is 1. And then 1 half of 3 fourths is 3 eighths. So we multiplied those. And then when we add, we get 1 and 3 eighths. Moving on to page 135, example 3, we're simplifying algebraic expressions. When we simplify things, we're just making it so that there are fewer terms and so that everything's kind of neat and tidy. Example 3a, we're using the distributive property to simplify the expression. So. 4 times n plus 5, we use the distributive property to multiply that 4 by everything that's inside the parentheses. So 4 times n plus 4 times 5 equals 4n plus 20. And letter b, we're doing the same thing. We're multiplying the 12 times everything that's in the parentheses. So 12 times 2y minus 12 times 3 equals 24y minus 36. And letter C, 9 times 6 plus x plus 2 equals 9 times 6 plus 9 times x plus 9 times 2. So the 9 gets multiplied by everything inside the parentheses. 9 times 6 is 54 plus 9x plus 18. And then we can simplify that further by using our commutative property of addition and moving the 54 plus 18 next to each other and then adding those two together to get 72. So we end up with 9x plus 72. Our real life application is in example four. Jose is x years old. His brother Felipe is two years older than Jose. Their aunt, Maria, is three times as old as Felipe. Write and simplify an expression that represents Maria's age in years. So we have a chart. Jose is at the top. He is X years old. And Felipe is two years older than Jose. So we add two to X. So Felipe is X plus two. Maria is three times 
as old as Felipe. So we're going to multiply 3 and x times 2 because Felipe is x plus 2 years old. So we're going to multiply 3 by the x plus 2. So we use our distributive property 3 times x plus 2 which equals 3 times x plus 3 times 2. So that equals 3x plus 2. So Maria's age in years is represented by the expression 3x plus 2. The next page, 136, at the top, there's an, a reminder of the vocabulary word that you wrote down during the last lesson, like terms. So just to remind you, in algebraic expression, like terms are terms that have the same variables raised to the same exponents. Constant terms are also like terms. So 5x and 2x in this expression are like terms, and 19 and 2 are like terms. So we're going to use the distributive property sometimes to combine like terms. Example 3, we're going to combine some like terms and simplify each expression. Letter A, 3x plus 9 plus 2x minus 5. We're going to use the commutative property of addition to move the 9 and the 5 so that they are next to each other. And then we're going to use the distributive property to put the x outside the parentheses and group the 3 and 2 together. So then we can multiply and also subtract or combine our 9 and our 5. So 9 minus 5 is 4. And then when we simplify our parentheses, we have x times 3 plus x times 2. So we have 3x plus 2x, which equals 5x. So we end up with 5x plus 4. Moving on to letter B, we have y plus y plus y. So we need to think of that as 1y plus 1y plus 1y. That's called the pro multiplication property of 1. And then we can use the distributive property, 1 plus 1 plus 1 times y, and add the coefficients. And that gives us 3y. Letter C gives us 7z plus 2 times z minus 5y in parentheses. When we use the distributive property, we take that 2 and we multiply it by everything inside the parentheses. So we have 7z plus 2z minus 2, 2 times 5y. And then we multiply and we get 7z plus 2z minus 10y. And when we use the distributive property, we end up with 7 plus 2 in parentheses times z minus 10y. And we add the coefficients, and we get 9z minus 10y for our simplified expression. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the following on your own problems. They are also on pages 134 through 136 of your textbook. You do need to use the distributive property to find the products and to simplify the expressions. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flipped lesson or any other work that we did for the flipped lesson. Complete it. 
You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always, have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip. You must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed. And you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. We'll see you in class tomorrow.